Hello, welcome to LeafMap Tutorials 52. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert NextCDF data to GeoTIFF and also how to visualize uh, NextCDF data. Uh, you can also create uh, animation. So first, let me show you uh, what the result looks like. So for example, you can create this kind of beautiful animation just using a couple of lines of code. And so the next, uh, minutes i'm going to show you how to actually to create something like this um, very easily so first let's go to the leaf map website to download the notebook example leafmap.org uh, and then left side here notebooks control n and then find number 52 next cdf upper right corner download and click save and then you can uh, open your anaconda prompt or your terminal Anaconda activate uh, geo Jupyter Lab. Okay, so open the notebook in your uh, browser, and then on the left side here, double click, open the notebook uh, example. So here, uh, this is what we're going to go through, and um, so there are a couple of ways you can uh, deal with the next CDF data. But in order to visualize the data, we need to convert the data um, to GeoTIFF. So first, let's uh, import the library. Also. Uh, keep it in mind so this one use some optional packages so we need to install x array while x array next year 4 and also local tie server so these are the, some of the packages those are just optional so if you just install leaf map uh, it won't come with this uh, um, package so make sure you import and then just import the library so here we're going to use this sample data uh win globe so next ctf data so dot nc and so we're going to save this file uh, the file name is win underscore global dot nc right so once you specify the url then we're going to use the dmap download file function to download so passing the url and passing the output file name that's it so hit enter uh, it's going to execute and download the file so once it's finished you can click the refresh button here refresh so so now we have this uh next cdf file uh, download it so you won't be able to open directly uh, because uh, uh, it's not supported directly uh, you will need for example QGS or RGS or other yeah, but in this case we're going to use leaf map actually to read the data so here you can use the leaf map function read underscore netcdf is just passing the file name so the file name is uh, wind underscore globe right and then shift enter so this one uh, the re it returns uh, an actual rate data set. So here you can show, for example, the dimensions, uh, 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 latitude and longitude, uh, the coordinates, and also the data variables. So here, these are the two important ones. So basically, you can think about these two as uh, bands. Um, so each one represents one band uh, in a remote sensing image, right? So you have two bands. You also have coordinates, but uh, keep in mind here. So this one. Uh, the longitude, so the latitude is from uh, 90 to 90, uh, that's correct. But the longitude actually is from 0 all the way to 360. So, But in order to display the data on the map, you will need negative 180 to positive 180. So later when we uh, export this one to GOT, we actually need to deal with this transformation, right? So here, if you just want to visualize that you actually don't need this one but i'm showing here that if you want to convert a next cdf to a geotiff you can use leaf map so an xcdf to a geotiff and then so this is the output file name we're going to use um it's basically the same name with different file extension right and then you can also specify uh, what kind of variable you want to extract so basically and they say this is a multi-spectral band, a multiple band. Uh, which band you want to export? If you don't specify, it's going to export all the bands. But uh, in this case, we specify these two, basically it's just the same. If you don't specify, you export both of them. And the last parameter here is shift long. So whether or not you want to shift the longitude. So in this case, um, we need to because it's from zero to 360. Again, we need negative 180 to positive 180 so they can display on the map. So just shift enter, execute, 
uh, pretty quick right on the left side here now we have this uh, wind underscore rob dot so basically it has been converted um, to a geotiff and once it's geotiff then we can actually use um, G a leaf map to display the data uh, very easily but in this case we are also going to show the country boundary because this is uh, at a global scale so it'd be useful to overlay the country boundary on the map so just specify um, this is the URL to the country boundary and then again we create a map uh, we also want to show the layers control and then we add the raster the GOT that we converted from the next DF and in here you need to specify the band so for example here we're going to specify that the first band will be the U uh, U win and then the palette well, for example what kind of palette you want to use uh, we use the quorum and you can specify the layer name then we add the geojson to the map so just uh, execute take a look okay, this is how you can convert the data so you can zoom in zoom out take a look so this is the country boundary without that it's probably a bit difficult right you see that this one so the lower right corner here this one that's basically the pop up when you move around it's going to show you um properties are uh, attributes of that polygon if you don't need that uh, click this one to minimize and click again here if you don't need it anymore just click the uh, cross icon so to close that right so now we have this one and behind the master layer uh, is the U so basically this is the, the horizontal uh, direction the wind uh, direction so this in here again you can convert that one to vector if you want but uh, if you simply just want to visualize the data on the map uh, you don't have to convert that one to GOTF manually you can simply just use the function HCD next CDF so again we create a map let me delete this one here we create a map and then just use the next CDF function so the file name basically is just the uh, the next CDF file and then you can specify for example uh, which variable you want to visualize so in this case we use the vertical uh, direction uh, vo uh, view wind and so palette name if the longitude and the layer name so basically it's pretty much the same as the last one but because i show you the function how to convert it to got but actually you don't have to so you can just run this entire one uh, to visualize data right so and it's pretty much the same but this is uh the uh, view win so it's the vertical if you want you can uh change to you win and you win to see the enter so behind the scene uh this function actually convert the data to got add it to the map but just uh, basically just one step um it's a shortcut that you don't have to actually convert uh, the data to uh, got so this is how you can visualize the data layer um, one by one and since we have multiple layers uh, it might be useful to create a so-called velocity so wind velocity so here again you can use one line of code so we're going to create a map and then we're going to change the base map because uh, we want to highlight uh, the wind velocity so here just use the function add uh, velocity and then passing the next cdf uh, and then passing so this is so-called uh, journal speed and also um, Marie uh, Dian um, speed and so we can see these two uh, arguments in here so we, we use the horizontal direction also the vertical uh, direction so, and if you want to see the parameters shift tab bring up the help documentation so the data uh, the two speed and also the latitude dimension the longitude dimension uh, basically we use this uh, if you want, don't want to specify you use the uh, default settings so in here um, just execute and let's see what the result looks like right so this is the uh, the default is the black background so the part of db darker uh, dark matter so basically just highlight if you don't use the data layer it might be a little bit difficult right? yeah this is difficult to see highlight and this one basically you have the horizontal and vertical so you can 
create this kind of animation uh, very easily. And then if you move your mouse, for example, on the lower left corner here shows you uh, the direction, also the velocity, how the wind basically uh, is spinning. Uh, Either is in the, the land or near the ocean, right? So you can zoom in to see direction. So you need to zoom in to a specific location. In this case, you can like uh, clockwise and counter uh, or, or counterclockwise direction. But right? in the uh, southern hemisphere, it should be um, clockwise. So we see this one here, right? These are all because of the uh, Coriolis uh, effect. So if you see uh, that the uh, wind or the ocean it was spinning uh, in the direction like right? so again very simple easy to use and uh, just a couple lines go create a map and uh, you can change the base map if you want and just use the add velocity function and then uh, zonal speed um, and also uh, the basically the two speed uh, x and y after that we have the map like this and you can um, Create this kind of animation and then you can uh, embed this one onto the website. Okay, so uh, that's all for this uh, video. I hope you find it useful. Hope to see you in the next um, video. Take care. Bye bye.